Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Lincoln at Midnight. Tonight, I thought I would share with you a cocktail called a bourbon swizzle. Yes, the bourbon I will be using, the Jim Beam. So I've never made one of these before. It's like it's a sort of a long drink. It turns, and um, it turns it a bit longer than an old fashioned. Yes, no, a bit longer than an old fashioned. So the bourbon swizzle, no, swizzle, swizzle. The bourbon swizzle, sorry, contains a sugar, lime, bitters. I've got some Regan's orange bitters here, and uh, and you top it up with some soda water. Mm -mm, lovely. Now, just a cheeky Bordeaux, I think. It's not bad. Not bad at all. No. <clears throat> so, bourbon swizzle, what am I doing? Yes, I take my cocktail shaker. In my cocktail shaker, I put a couple of cubes of ice, frozen water. Now, I may actually take four cubes. And then I add two shots of Jim Beam. You can use your own personal preference of. Um, a bourbon, American whiskey, and I. This is quite. I find it's quite dry, quite a dry whiskey, uh, compared to uh, Scottish whiskeys. Myself, but, uh, it is what people prefer. So two shots, fifty mils, just like so. Now I take my uh, citrus squeezer, and I add about half a shot, or about fifty mil. Of lime juice. Yes, so I just 15 mil half a That's it, looks like it's the entire half, entire half lime. Half about 15 mil, straight in. And a spoon of icing sugar. Or oh, I think the recipe book I looked at, it had super fine sugar. Sorry, icing sugar. We'll do so, but just a, just a bar spoon, a teaspoon, bar spoon, just a small, a small spoon of sugar. I'm sure you can use uh, sugar syrup, just sort of a quarter of a shot of that, half a half a shot maybe. But uh, no, the recipe it said super fine sugar, just to give it a sweet edge. Yes, indeed. And then some bitters, a couple of dashes of bitters. Like so, this obviously. So it's gonna be a. So at the moment, actually no. Apart from the lime, it's uh, so the bitters and the sugar is almost an old fashioned. But no, this is. Uh, I've added lime, and later on we're going to be adding soda water. So I've lost my place there. Okay, so uh, get the uh, put the strainer on, put the uh, cap on, and you give it a jolly good shake. Just like so. I then take my highball glass or add a couple of cubes to this. Just like so. I then take, take the cap off and pour it into the glass. So it should half fill up the glass. So we've got sort of just over probably about 65 mils of fluid. And then you top it up with soda water. So water. Like so, just not too much. Still almost equal amounts of soda water to your cocktail, making it a rather long drink. And uh, so I'm just going to take my bar spoon again. Uh, before I give it a spoon, cheers. Ooh, lovely. Now, just give it a slight, slight stir. And there we have your bourbon swizzle. Yes, indeed. Sometimes you'd want to add a swizzle stick, 
a little garnish, like a swizzle stick, as it's called a bourbon swizzle, or other times you just might want to drink it as is. So you could also use a slice of apple as a garnish, or uh, something else, I don't know, but, uh, whatever you choose. Cheers. Well, that is very nice. That is... I mean, for somebody, I think I added... <clears throat> no, I think I've added too much uh, soda water. It tastes like a very watered-down whiskey. Sweet drink, a nice, a very long drink. It's okay, something that you can probably drink just before lunch, I suppose. A, an aperitif before lunch, if you wanted a long drink. No, that is not bad. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope that you have had a good week. I hope that you uh, stay safe. And in, in the UK at the moment, we are still in lockdown. I hope you remain safe and you remain COVID-19 free and all other illnesses free. Please uh, stave them off with lots of uh, thinking and drink plenty of water as well. Cheers.